After the season ended, you moved very swiftly to sign CeCe Sabathia to a one-year contract. Why was that so important? Well, I mean, I think CeCe still got, you know, some you know, productive gas in that tank. He, he really is one of the best starters in the game in inducing weak contact. Um, you know, I think he's going to provide valuable innings. Uh, and, you know, you know what you're going to get from this guy. He's going to give everything he's got. He's a great, great leader in that clubhouse. Um, and so I felt that He's going to provide a lot of value, and if we could thread the needle in a proper way with someone who wants to be here and finish his career here, um, it was a lane I wanted to work in. In addition to Sabathia, you also re-signed Brett Gardner after not picking up his option. He struggled in the second half of last year, lost his job to McCutcheon. What compelled you to want Gardner back for 2019? You know, and Guardy, again, we know what we got. He's an elite defender in, in one of the game's bigger left fields in baseball, so there's a lot of value there. He's a gamer. I know he trailed off in the second half. Um, I, I do believe that we kind of, you know, were forced to overplay him a little bit and, and uh, uh, because of the injuries we had, you know, Ellsbury being out, obviously Judge then getting hurt and being out. Uh, you know, Hicks going down for periods of time with his rib cage uh, or his hammy or groin, whatever it was now, I can't remember off the top of my head. So all those things conspired. And then with Stanton's hammy too, keeping with the DH role that he fought through, it all conspired to us having to run him out there more than we really wanted to. And I think, you know, uh, his offensive numbers paid the price there. But I know the player. We know the player. He, he's, a, he's a true Yankee. Uh, but we're not here giving things away you know at least uh, willingly we are investing in people that we think you know are worth it and I think you know going forward here Brett Gardner still has a, a big role to play as he's played in the past so we're excited that we got him back all right so Jack let's talk about that last season 609 plate appearances for Gardner in 140 games it sounds like they'd like to use him less, which probably wouldn't be such a bad thing. Yeah, they would like to make sure that he gets a rest every once in a while. We heard Brian Cashman refer to that, and I think it's been a bit of a topsy-turvy time for Brett Gardner. We see how he started out in the first 51 last year and what happened after that, but let's go back and refresh everyone's memory. He loses his job to McCutcheon, and there were some people, myself included, who you watch McCutcheon and the way that he works at bats and his on-base percentage and you wondered would the Yankees make a play for McCutcheon after the season but the Yankees are content with Brett Gardner they like what he can provide for them and if you look at their outfield alignment it's Judge and right it's Hicks and center you're probably going to have Gardner left a lot of the time especially at Yankee Stadium as Cashman just referenced because you want to make sure Stanton doesn't have to play all that time in the outfield. They used him a lot as a DH, and I think they're comfortable doing that. And they're hopeful that Clint Frazier will be completely healthy. They don't know that yet, and they don't know what Jacoby Ellsbury is going to be. Yeah, they would love for Clint Frazier to be completely healthy because they're high on him. We've seen the bat speed with Frazier. We've seen the athleticism. We just haven't seen him get the kind of at-bats consistently that the Yankees would like to see him get. And then as far as Ellsbury is concerned, right now there's a question mark hovering over his head. He has two more years left with the Yankees over $40 million, but we already know that the Yankees have shown some interest in potentially trying to move him. They talked to Seattle about a Cano and Ellsbury swap, and those discussions didn't become substantive or very serious. Again, reminding everyone Ellsbury's got a no-trade situation, so he would have to approve any kind of deal. You know, he t uh, Brian Cashman talked about knowing the player. Could say the same thing about CeCe. You want a guy, you don't want to take a flyer on a guy for a fourth or fifth spot in your rotation. You don't know if he can pitch in New York. You don't know quite how he'll handle it they know everything about CeCe Bob every time you and I do a pregame show and we talk about CeCe Zabathia and what to expect I, I say almost the same things I feel like I'm a broken record and there's his, his resume if he pitches the way that he needs to pitch on any given night he can stop anyone I mean when he is throwing that cutter inside and the sliders and the change-ups away He's getting swings and misses. He's getting soft contact. Now, with the knee, you always believe that CeCe's probably going to end up not being a guy who gives you 180 innings. But he can give you 150 innings, and he can pitch to a 3.5 ERA, and he can provide leadership in the clubhouse. Those are some very important things to have back for 2019.